G'day. Paul and Pauline here down at the park by the lake. What's the name of the beach? Pelican. Down at Pelican Beach. And we're continuing to read through the Gospel of Mark and we're up to chapter 2. And when he returned to Capernaum after some days, it was reported that he was at home. And many were gathered together so that there was no more room, not even at the door. And he was preaching the word to them. And they came bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men. And when they could not get him near because of the crowd, they removed the roof above him. And when they had made an opening, they let down the bed on which the paralytic lay. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there questioning in their hearts. Why does this man speak like that? He is blaspheming. Who can forgive sins but God alone? And immediately Jesus, perceiving in his spirit that they thus questioned within themselves, he said to them, Why do you question these things in your heart? Which is easier to say to the paralytic, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise, take up your bed and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He said to the paralytic, I say to you, Rise, Pick up your bed and go home. And he rose and immediately picked up his bed and went out before them, so that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, We never saw anything like this. He went out again beside the lake, and all the crowd was coming to him, and he was teaching them. Hallelujah. Jesus is the Son of God capable of forgiving sins and capable of healing the sick and so he did there at Capernaum in chapter 2 of Mark you get into the word yourself and let the word of God get into you get into you see you next time bye for now bye <laughs>